Good morning, folks. This is Aim Awesome, Chief Market Analyst at Evertrade, and welcome to our daily technical analysis video. In today's analysis, we will look at Apple's new iPhone and how that is going to influence the stock price. So let's have a conversation around this and then see where are those buy and sell opportunities in terms of support and resistance zones before we do anything else it is important for us to go through this slide of disclaimer and risk warnings anything which will be discussed in this video cannot be perceived as an advice if you are seeking for one please do consider consulting with your own financial advisors now as always i am going to bring out the mt4 platform which can be downloaded from our website evertrade.com now folks what do you see on the chart before i jump into any of the fundamentals with respect to apple news and what exactly is expected because what i am going to do is i'm going to discuss what we how the stock has performed previously with respect to apple's previous announcement so the platform which i have just pulled in front of you this is a platform which is known as bloomberg professional so this is for professional traders. You don't have to worry too much about it because that is why I am here to give you that all of that free information. So what we're looking at in front of you is a chart which shows how the stock performed during the previous Apple launches. So meaning how Apple shares have leaned negative in recent years on iPhone launch day. So in this, that these bars to the downside and to the upside shows you the daily performance for Apple on the day that it launches its phone. So as you can see in the chart previously, back in 2018, when the stock, when it launched its iPhone, the stock actually went down. Similarly, in 2017, Apple's stock went down when it announced its uh, when it announced its um, the, the the new iPhone, and then back in 2017 when it announced its another iPhone, the stock was mainly up by less than one percent, and in 2015. When it announced it's another iPhone, the stock went down by nearly minus 2%. In 2013, the stock was down well over 2.5%. So what I'm really trying to convey over here is do not get caught on the wrong side of the trade because Apple is expected to announce its new iPhone today. So you may be expecting that, yes, we are going to see this humongous rally for Apple stock, but that the history doesn't back this argument. Well, historically speaking, as you can see in the chart, which I've pulled out for you guys, that the day that Apple launches its new iPhone, the stock actually falls and we have several different incidents right in front of you starting all the way from 2009 that every pretty much every time apple announced its new iphone there was this element of disappointment among investors and traders and because of that the stock performed negatively of course the day before the company announces its uh, stock, sorry, its new iPhone, the stock always kind of moves in positive direction. And we've experienced that yesterday because Apple's stock moved more than 6% yesterday. But today I am expecting a retracement in Apple's stock as the market opens and especially when, when the company will announce its new iPhone. So let's have a look at the price action for Apple because over here, what you see is a price before the stock split. 
So Apple stock used to trade well above $500. When the stock split, the price went down to 153, well below that. And ever since, the price traded in very much in a downtrend. Now, in order to see the true reflection of the stock price, what we have to do is we have to look at the price, which pretty much you know, converts all the stock buybacks and splits. So this chart in the Bloomberg pretty much explains. And then this point right over here, this shows you that the all-time high for Apple's price was just under 140. And now, as you can see, the Apple, uh, the, the closest of yesterday was 124. Of course, the high for Apple as of yesterday was also 124.60. So the question really is, where are we going to go from here? So in terms of resistance, when we really look at the chart, it is your all-time high, which is right over here, which we are really looking at in terms of possible resistance. So let's say today we see a little bit of a retracement, you know, prices moving lower, and then we see a bit of a sideways movement, but then the price is likely to move higher, and this particular price move to the upside is going to be because NASDAQ has staged the biggest one day rally since April this year. So that really re-emphasizes this, this, uh, this particular stance that this tech rally is gonna go higher. So if we do see a small retracement today, that could be the opportunity that you, you know one could be waiting for. So then it raises the question, Okay, so where is that buy zone? Where can we do that? Try to look in this area, this gap area which was formed yesterday. So that, for, for, for me, that is a, quite an important area of support. But if that doesn't really work, then what we can do on, on, on top of that is we can have a look at the prices on a smaller time frame so by that i mean like we can just go into 120 minute time frame we can look at the 30 day time frame from that perspective and then see where can we see if we can see some sort of another support zone so for me i think this area 119 218 which was the open or let's just say the lows of yesterday these are the areas which are you know quite quite an important one for me to keep an eye on so that's all for today and i'll see you guys tomorrow